Okay, so in this video, what I want to do is show you a way of being able to find the common ratio of a geometric sequence. Now, sometimes the common ratio will be obvious, okay? So you'll be able to tell immediately from looking at the sequence that like that is the common ratio, because in this case, you can see that we are multiplying by 3 each time. So the fact that I'm multiplying by 3 each time means that r is equal to 3 in this case. Okay? Now, if, however, you have a situation where, like this, where maybe the common ratio isn't explicit, you can't see it immediately, the way to find the common ratio is to take one of the terms and then divide it by the previous term. Okay, So you could either do 14 divided by 8 or you could do 24.5 divided by 14. It doesn't matter. Either way, you should get exactly the same answer. So 14 divided by 8 is 7 quarters or 1.75. So if we try 24.5 divided by 14, you get 1.75, okay? So this method of choosing a value, choosing a term in the sequence and dividing it by the previous term will work. Now, what if you're given a sequence where there is a number missing? So you're given three terms in a geometric sequence and we don't know this second term. Well, maybe we could use uh, one form of this trick um, in order to do that. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The first way would be to say, well, r must be x over 18. That term divided by that term. Okay, we've seen that method works down here, so uh, it should work again. We could also say that r is this term divided by that term, so 760.5 divided by x. Now, these r's should be exactly the same. So if I put one equal to the other, then I can multiply both sides by x to get x squared, multiply both sides by 18, so 760.5 times 18, is 13689, and then I can square root that answer, and I get 117. Okay, so that means that I found my value x, that middle value. Okay, and subsequently the common ratio, so therefore the common ratio is 117 over 18, or 760.5 over 117. So that is equal to 6.5. That's the common ratio. OK? Now, I, I told you that there was going to be that way, and I'll show you another way as well. So you could use, you could do, a, it's effectively the same method, but it's less algebraic, OK? So what you could do is you could say, well, 760.5 is the third term. Uh, the first term is 18. So what that is is r squared. Okay, That is telling you what r squared is equal to. Because what you've got here is you've got 18 times r times r will give you 760.5. So 18 r squared is 760.5. So what I've done is I've effectively just divided both sides by 18. And so 760.5 divided by 18 is 42.25. And so r is the square root of that, which gets you the 6.5. Okay? So there are two methods there that you can employ that will work. Okay? It really depends on, um, you know, what, what the question is looking for at the end of the day, because this one was good for working out the value of x first. Uh, this finds you r, but obviously you can work out what x is by doing 18 times 6.5 um, to get the 117 that way. 